Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christy with Van Allen Company. It's Tuesday, June 23rd. I'm going to go over the markets with you for the day. So we are towing into a lot of these grain markets as the forecast continues to build moisture into it. So you're looking at widespread inch to four inches of rain across the majority of the Corn Belt over the next 11 days. Um, there are some pockets. Obviously, there is it is an extended forecast, so there's up for grabs of, of what exactly is going to happen. Looks like you know Indiana is extremely dry right now. Uh, they got about an inch overnight, and they're forecasted in that five to seven day window to get another bit of precipitation. Uh, they're really dry, so they're going to need a little bit more than that. Still spotty into North Dakota has a lot of pockets need to get some rain here um, and that looks like you have a chance here in the next five days but it's pretty slim on what areas that is right now so that'll be the big question moving forward are the forecast is showing the rains do they actually happen the extended models do amp up uh, the chance for precipitation but they also amp up the heat as well so we'll be watching that a lot of meteorologists backing off of that heat ridge right now and that means that you could be having favorable growing season and that's what's putting pressure onto this market along with overnight trade for the markets open, you had one of the top U.S. trade officials come out and say it's over between the U.S. and China, and that dropped everything. So beans down 13 at one point, spiking lower. He came back out. He said that was taken out of context. He didn't mean that. He's just talking about the origins of where COVID-19 came from, that China's not being truthful, um, but that everything's fine. President Trump came out, said everything is fine. Trade deal is still on. China is still saying they're going to follow obligations. So it's a little bit of mix and match, but what you can note on is that green markets are on shaky ground right now and they're really trying to hold it together before this June 30th crop report. So corn market down three and a half to five cents lower. Soybeans down one and a half on front month, four to five on the deferreds. Uh, Chicago wheat and Kansas City wheat both having a little bit of a pushback up to one to three cents and in Minneapolis wheat a bit lower anywhere from three to five cents lower as well. Meat markets all titch higher. Live cattle, feeder cattle up anywhere from a buck to two bucks. Lean hogs also up higher as well, up just over a buck. So seeing that support shine through. Outside markets were front so biggest stories moving forward is going to be all eyes on weather, seeing if we can drum up some demand. It wasn't that long ago that there was rumors that China was going to buy 5 million metric ton of corn. Hopefully we can get those back in the pipeline and see some private sales. There was a small private sale in soybeans to China this morning. That was hopeful, but we do need some optimism coming up into the, before this June 30th crop report, which is such a big deal for these markets. I do have to close with the disclaimer. Trading futures and option involves risk loss. It is not suitable for all producers. This is a solicitation. Have a great day.